Hi, this is Dr. Alemi from George Mason University. I'd like to talk to you about decision trees and how to use folding back to calculate the expected values of any decision tree. What's coming up is how to analyze decision trees. In particular, we show you a technique called folding back. We calculate expected cost and we conduct sensitivity analysis. Here is a decision tree constructed for a PPO offer to a bank. We like to show you how to analyze this decision tree. Let's focus on the option of continue as is. And let's calculate the expected value for continuing as is. To fold back this decision tree, you start at the rightmost node you replace the node with its expected value. In this case, there is 0.98 chance of having a cost of $807 plus 0.05 chance of having a cost of $192. The total expected cost of this node is 866. That's the cost of expected cost of outpatient visits under continuing as is. In the next step, we move back a node and redo the process, this time replacing another node with its expected cost. For employees who meet the deductible, the node is replaced by the probability of meeting the deductible and being hospitalized, plus the probability of meeting the deductible and having clinic visits. The net impact is $3,970. Finally, we replace the last node with its expected value. The expected value for continuing as is is now calculated as $1,468. We do this process for both continuing as is and joining the PPO. The net difference of the expected values is $597. This shows that joining PPO will save us $597 per person. It's important to do a sensitivity analysis to see if our conclusions are right or wrong. Sensitivity analysis is a process where we change one of the parameters of the decision tree to see if our conclusions are reversed. We started by changing the hospitalization rate by 5%. It didn't change any of our conclusions. The joining the PPO was still the preferred approach. We next changed the clinic visit rates. Again, 5% increase in the clinic visit rate under PPO did not change our conclusions. We next changed the, the case mix differences between the PPO and the employer side. Here, a 5% change did make a difference. When sensitivity analysis shows that a parameter affects the conclusions, it's important to go back to data collection and collect more data about that parameter. The take-home lesson is quite simple. Folding back replaces each node with its expected value and allows us to have an expectation about decision.